<laughs> All right, we're back at Friendship CrossFit. Um, here, Dr. Kraft here with Dr. Ohm and Jeff Bennett. Um, today we're gonna run through some tips for hang clean or barbell cycling uh, hang clean. But before we do that, we're gonna talk about warming up or getting ready for that front rack position of a clean. So Dr. Ohm is gonna show us kind of getting the bar in a front rack. Good, so what he's gonna start doing is just kind of uh, flossing or mobilizing the shoulders getting comfortable with that mobility of being able to keep his hands in that position. Great. Um, what he's also going to want to do is, you know, beforehand you can mash the tricep or the back of the arm on the barbell. That'll allow him to get that elbow flexion to stay comfortably in that position. Um, we, we can also pop it on the back and do the same thing. It'll help get that external rotation of the shoulder as he's doing that. Great. We also want to look at um, Mobilization, mobility in the thoracic spine. So we have to have good T-spine extension to be able to stay there. And we can do that on a foam roller or, um, and then while you're on the roller, working through the lats and other areas of the shoulder that are gonna help us get in that good position. Awesome. All right, now for the hang cleans. Uh, so a couple different things. If we're thinking about this as it pertains to the CrossFit Open, obviously we are trying to accumulate more reps, we're trying to go maybe a little bit faster. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the fastest option. This is gonna be the cycling clean or the bounce clean uh, that has become pretty popular. Uh, I always recommend for people with this, keep your hook grip on the whole time. When you guys are working on cycling hang cleans, we really should be working on maintaining that hook grip as we get in the front rack. And then as we come back down, it just kind of stays on the whole time. That's gonna be the biggest thing that's gonna improve your cycle time if you guys are releasing that grip, popping it up each time. So he's gonna pick it up here. We're gonna watch a couple. <laughs> now he's gonna work on, yeah, we're gonna work on keeping, now it doesn't count, right, because he took it from the ground, we're talking about hang clean. So <laughs> he's gonna start at the hang position. And the biggest thing that we wanna think about with this is we want him to be leaning back a little bit on the bar, and when those arms hit that full cycle, he's letting the bar rebound over his quads and then bounce right back to the top, right? And so from here then, he has a good position to breathe up here at the top if he needs to, but then it's again, down and up, right? So if he shows us like four or five of these in a row, he can make sure that he gets that little double jump and those legs extend each time to hit the pop. And then as he comes back down to that bottom position, legs bend and then extend together, okay? So this is one of those things, again, this just takes a little bit of practice. And sometimes you might need a little bit more weight. A good weight for training for this for guys is usually gonna be somewhere around maybe 95 or 115. Needs to be enough to actually give a little bit of rebound onto that barbell as it makes contact with your quads. Ladies, you might look maybe somewhere in the 75 to 95 pound range to start to bend that bar just a little bit. Do you wanna talk about anything logistically with this one? Okay, cool. Um, so then the, uh, the second one we're gonna talk about is maybe a little bit slower, and this would be a little bit more common, and this will have a hip hinge to it. So he's gonna pick it up, and we're gonna imagine that we had, um, you know, in a proper hang clean fashion, we'll dip and load a little bit to the top of the knee. Not counting on that one again, so he's still at zero, right? He brings it back down, and we're aiming for that top of the knee area, and he's gonna lean over a little bit, and then he fires that chest up, and so this one is hip extension getting that barbell up. So he fires it down, fires those hips. So I just kind of imagine this a little bit like a kettlebell swing, right? As we're trying to think about hinge and pop, right? So it's still pretty quick, right? There's nice speed. There. And I always imagine it as there's a target right on the tops of my knees here, and I'm trying to go from A to B, and I'm automatically set up in that position where the hamstrings are set, my core's in a good position, and I'm ready to fire the hips and extend up back to that position. This one's one of those ones, if you guys start to feel like my heart rate's out of control, my grip's starting to go, this one gives a little bit better opportunity to make the hip extension piece of this more of the driving force than the grip's arm and kind of traps from the bounce clean. And then the, the thing that we want to look at with that is the, the farther you have to hinge, the further that bar is going to be from the center of gravity. Um, so as he goes down, we have to make really sure that um, as he's hinging, he, his uh, spine staying neutral. So you have a, a very easy opportunity to let your lower back take over and cave into, a, <laughs> cave into extension like that. But uh, you're going to pay for that. So that's just going to fry your back. Um, so as you hinge, we want to stay really neutral, especially as uh, Jeff was saying, that the more fatigue you get, you can use this as an opportunity to um, come off the knees, but we need to make sure that we stay really braced during that. Yeah, and I almost even think about, as I'm doing it, I think about like what my abs are doing as I catch, right? 
as opposed to thinking about keeping my chest up, I think about what my abs are doing so that I can brace as I catch. And the big thing with this, again, if we're thinking about, let's take a workout like a DT, right, where you're doing a bunch of deadlifts with a bunch of hang cleans, that's gonna crank that back up. So you would want to try to balance clean that as much as you possibly could to take some of the pressure off that hip hinging, right? <laughs> you just fly into the right? But you wanna think about as much as you can, if we're already hip hinging here, we don't wanna do a ton of those hip hinge cleans. You might have to at the end if that grip starts to fatigue, your traps start to flare out. But if um, it, it, all things equal, that bounce clean, as long as we can sustain that, uh, is going to be the much, much more preferenced way to do that. Awesome. Great.